Sean Rundle is the deputy director of the California Peace Officers Association. We're about cops who want to be the best cops. So we do primarily training for law enforcement on a range of topics. Rundle says these days law enforcement officers are expected to do the jobs of four or five different professionals that they didn't necessarily sign up for. These days as cops are, are expected to be social workers and psychologists and first responders and uh, crisis negotiators and all those types of things. One of the topics his organization does extensive training on is crisis intervention. His top recommendation for officers is being able to identify the signs and indicators of mental illness. What are specific signs that you can identify that gives you an idea that right off the bat that this person is not in the right mindset and could potentially pose a danger to others, not just to themselves. After watching the full video clip of the Grass Valley incident posted by the Nevada County Sheriff's Department, Rundle sent the following comments. I see a mother acting erratically while escorting her young kids and holding a knife. Deputies reassured her repeatedly that they were not there to hurt her kids and just wanted to talk. She was not happy with those responses and started screaming, scaring her children. This is exactly the type of unpredictable situation that officers face every day. It ended tragically, and like the sheriff said, the DA would determine the justification in their investigation. Walter McCullough, KCRA 3 News. And Rundell adds that officers involved in shootings are often criticized as being cold and heartless, but they're actually often traumatized by what happened. He also says that we rarely see that side of them because they're trained to speak about the facts of what happened in the case and not about how they feel about it.